Greetings, everyone. So here we have the Montana 295 RL. The RL means rear living. This camper has three slides. It sleeps six people. You're looking at a total weight of 11,697 pounds, 34 feet long. Um, you have two nice big powered awnings here because you do have that campsite slide. Those are powered and as you see, we have the LED lights on on those. A few things about the construction of these, uh, they are four seasons. So you've got two inch sidewalls that are gonna have dual label, layer fiberglass on them. You've got dual pane frameless windows. The frameless windows always look so sharp on these. Insulated underbelly, and not only is it insulated, but it also has forced hot air and electric tank heaters. Speaking of that, you're looking at a 91 gallon fresh, uh, 88 gallon gray, 49 gallon black with a 16 gallon water heater, which is awesome. Um, with some other things I want to hit on out here. So I mentioned it with Four Seasons. I do want to show you also here at the back. We do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof, which means you can get up there and clean and maintain, do whatever you need to. You are backup camera wired, not as easy as prepped, but it, you still are wired, so that is going to make it somewhat easier. You have a nice size pass-through storage up here at the front. With key TV hookup out here, so you can hook a TV up out here, watch TV. When I say key TV, years ago, if you camped, if you hooked up to the cable or the satellite, basically all the TVs in the camper were forced to watch the same thing. With key TV, you don't have to do that, which is super nice. You have solid entry steps, friction hinge door, which makes it nice for opening and closing. It does come with Solar Flex 200 on it. So what that means is you're gonna have a solar panel up there, you're gonna have an inverter. That solar panel will keep the battery charged. It'll run things like your lights, you can use your slides if you need to. Um, what's really nice with that Solar Flex is you can expand on that and it goes all the way up. I, I can't remember if it's like a 3500 or a 3600, but it's like full boondocking. You don't have to be connected at all, so pretty cool. I am going to start at the back of the camper, but before we do like the specific areas, I want to talk about this does have the Buford uh, vinyl throughout. You do have rollout shades, blackout shades, so you can get some privacy in here. It does have um, flush floor slide outs. It is carpetless slides. That's that indoor outdoor rug type material, but it is carpetless. You have a 15,000 BTU ducted AC, and it is the quiet AC cool system. So what that means is the AC is actually mounted on top, so it's gonna be a lot quieter when you're in here in the camper. This is a 50 amp service camper. Uh, you also have a 35,000 BTU furnace, and I do wanna talk about real quick, and we'll come back to it. You have your 5,000 BTU electric fireplace. These are fantastic fantastic early season late season camping and since this is four season you could use it throughout the winter it will definitely take the chill out of the main area and you're not using your propane which is fantastic so as we work our way around we have it's it's technically a wall mounted table but i still call it a freestanding dinette with your chairs lovely chairs super comfortable and you even have a little table extender here so you can bring this out if you need more food space or game space, whatever you want to do there. You have your theater seats. Those do recline. Super comfortable. At the back of the unit, we have our full-sized sofa bed. Or, yeah, sofa bed. So you've got end tables on both sides with USB charging and regular charging. But that will turn into a bed, so those will become nightstands. Some storage up above. And then we come to our entertainment area. So you have a 50 inch flat screen TV. You've got a JBL stereo system in here. So you have your inside and your outside speakers. You can control uh, both of those. I already talked about the fireplace. Now we're gonna pan around. Oh, you know what? I do wanna mention I showed it, but it actually has a ceiling fan in it. And that's really nice for just moving the air, helping keep it cooler in here. 
I also want to point out, I mentioned that it was four seasons with the heated forced air underbelly, the extra insulation in the walls, the double pane windows. If you're not a Four Seasons camper, that does still matter in the summertime because it is going to help it keep cooler in here for you. So as we look around here in the kitchen, we do have solid surface countertops. We have a 70-30, I believe. Yeah, 70-30 stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer. I think they call that a chef's sprayer. We have the big stainless steel uh, oven, residential size stainless steel microwave, and as you see, lots of prep slash serving space. We have our 18.6 cubic foot fridge here, fridge freezer. So you've got lots and lots of space for your cold goods. And you also have a pantry for any of your dried goods or pillows or blankets. Nice little breakfast nook. One thing I'll say about Montana is you're never going to have to worry about running out of storage. You've got tons of storage in here. Coming around, we do have a central vac system in here, so you don't need to worry about bringing a broom, a dustpan, all that stuff. You hook up the hose, you sweep it out, you put it up, you're done. It will reach out to your tow vehicle as well as your pass-through storage to keep that nice and clean. Right as we came in the door, we've got a place to hang jackets, dog leashes, whatever, and a place for keys, notes, forget-me-nots, whatever you want right there. Our bathroom is a pass-through bathroom. So we have our neo-angled shower that does have a seat in it, which is super nice. Back here, we have a porcelain toilet. Very important because with porcelain toilets, you can use any chemical you want on that to clean it. You have some additional space back here. Oh, we have a max air vent in here, but I do want to point out also in the kitchen, I believe. Yes, we have an electric fan back here that does have rain sensing, so you don't have to worry about getting rain in here. So let me pan back around without making anybody sick. We'll come back to the bathroom. So we've got our kitchen countertop with a lot of space, drawers and cabinets down below, medicine cabinet, and then you have access to your bedroom closet for if you want to store additional stuff in here for the bedroom or the kitchen. But it is also washer dryer prep. So you can actually put an all in one unit in here if you want, or you can do like my wife and I did, which was buy one of those little portable washers and we just uh, hang dry uh, our clothes. So it gives you extra space because it only takes up the washer side. So we'll back up, we'll come in the bedroom the main way. We have a king size bed, which is awesome in my book. Storage down below. Nice big nightstand on the one side, so if you have somebody that needs a CPAP machine, um, it's a good place for that. But you also have the little stands up there for your phones, your iPads, whatever. Beautiful, I think that's like shiplap, maybe not, herringbone, I don't know. If somebody knows exactly what that style is called, drop me a comment down below and let me know. Again, storage. Oh, second AC back here. Again, that quiet cool. More storage, you have hanging closets on both sides. So you've got the his and her closets. Then you've got these large drawers here, solid wood drawers, more space, beautiful window, but you also have that blackout shade so you can sleep in if you want. You're not gonna have to worry about too much light coming in here. You have a spot here on the wall to mount a TV so you can watch TV back here in the bedroom. And again, more space with a bank of drawers here in front of the bed. Last but certainly not least, let's talk price. So as I said, this is a 2024 Montana 295 RL. It retails for 93,279. We have it for 65,985. So we have it for a 27,294 savings. As always, oh, you do have a dimmer over here in your slide out. Nice big tall slide outs and you have a dimmer over here, which is great. So you can kind of set the mood, turn the lights down low, kick on the fireplace, pull down the blackout shades and relax. As always, if you have questions, comments, concerns, or there's something more you want to know about or see, just drop me a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer it for you or get someone that knows a lot more than me to answer it for you. Have a fantastic day.